hear what they did with the warden. That was no warden. Well, yes, that was the crime. No, it wasn't. The crime was far worse. You haven't seen the war reports. How can I help? I need to know more about Corypheus. He has lost his army, and he has lost Orle. That eliminates military or political means to rebuild Tevinta. He will need to demonstrate that no one in this world can stand against his magic. It will not be subtle. I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on elven culture. Perhaps you could ask Sarah. She has... opinions. Sarah is part of our team. You don't need to be snide about her. Actually, on some level, I do. She takes it better than she would take my pity. Or my envy. She has a purity of purpose that I lack. I have observed too much and done too little. What do you wish to know? I'd like to know more about the elves from before our time. The Dalish strive to remember Halam Shiral. But Halam Shiral was merely a fumbling attempt to recreate a forgotten land. Arlathan. Elvanan was the Empire. And Arlathan, its greatest city. Place of magic and beauty, lost to time. You've studied ancient elves. What else do you know of Arlathan? We hear stories of them living in trees, and imagine wooden ramps or Dalish aravels. Imagine instead spires of crystal twining through the branches, palaces floating among the clouds. Imagine beings who lived forever, for whom magic was as natural as breathing. That is what was lost. I'd like to know more about the Dalish Elves. It is a mistake to think of the Dalish as a single group. They have lived as separate clans for centuries now. As a consequence, each clan has learned, interpreted, and forgotten different parts of Elven history. Some trade freely with humans, or adopt city elves who flee the alienages. Others attack humans on sight. What can you tell me about elves living in human cities? The culture in alienages or among the slaves of Tevinter is like any of the impoverished and powerless. They cling to memories of a better past, and practice a few rituals to distinguish themselves from humans. Is elven magic different from the magic used by humans? No and yes. Magic is magic, just as water is water, but it can be used in different ways. Dalish magic is more practical, not needing Chantry approval, although they still frown on blood magic. Superstition. Much of it is more subtle. A legacy from when elves were immortal. Legends of elven immortality. Did they use magic to increase their lifespan? No. It was simply part of being elven. The subtle beauty of their magic was the effect, not the cause of their nature. Some spells took years to cast. Echoes would linger for centuries, harmonizing with new magic in an unending symphony. It must have been beautiful. You said that the censure against blood magic was a superstition. I did. It's fortunate Cassandra is not within earshot. Most modern cultures forbid blood magic. Publicly, even Devinda disapproves of it. But as I said, magic is magic. It matters only in how it is used. Every time I've seen blood magic used, it has been for some evil purpose. I once saw a woman stabbed in the stomach with a dagger. She died slowly, in agony. It was repulsive. If the Chantry outlawed daggers, would that stop people from using them? Of course not. Some would use daggers in secret, ashamed, and some would find rebellion titillating, step down the path of depravity. That we should allow blood magic to be used freely. Works so well for the Imperium. The Vindus Foundation stones are the bones of ancient elves with slave blood for the mortar. It is an example of nothing more than gilded savagery. Pitiable in a way. They always succeed through power. So they have never had the chance to learn another way. We'll talk later. Goodbye.
humor to fit your mental capacity. A woman falls down. The end.